how many of you would like to learn more about leadership today? Thank you. How many not? Oh, thank you. Thank you, right? Uh, my name is Joel, and my topic today will be Leadership Plus, right? And first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for being here today because I know you take time out of your busy schedule to be here, and we all understand that time is something that we can't gain back. And this is, this is why I truly appreciate all of you for spending your time this afternoon to be here to learn from all of us here. Right? So with that, give yourself a big round of applause. Right? And I will also do everything in my power to make sure that your time is well worth for today. Alright? Alright, so now the next thing is what, are the good, what you will be learning at, at the end of my presentation. So by the end of my presentation, what you'll be learning is the difference between leadership and in a position of leadership. How many of you would like to know the difference? Thank you, <coughs> right? Second, you will understand, you will discover what is the role of a leader around the world, all right? And not the political leaders, huh, by the way. Well, we have enough of that, right? But the role of a leader, all right? And last, how you can begin your journey on, a, on, on leadership so that you can begin attract followers with you. How many of you like to know that? Me. Right? Thank you. And since we're going to spend some time together, is it okay for me to share a little bit about myself? Yes. yes. Yeah? Thank you. So, for four, four years, for the last four years, yes, for four years, what I've been doing is I've been part of a team, a, a global team, where we help hundreds of people to achieve their financial dreams and their uh, desired lifestyle. And my role in the team is very simple. is to ensure that the systems in the team move, can go on smoothly. Because if the system breaks down, you know, then things will, the uh, desired result will not be as, as ideal. So my role is to ensure things are going smoothly in the system. All right? And why am I doing this now? Why, why wouldn't I continue doing what I was doing? And why am I here today? Because for a very simple reason. Um, it happened because of two interactions. How many interactions, please? Two. two. Thank you. So because of two interactions, what happened was at a recent event and a coaching interaction with a friend. This, this happened at a... This was what happened. Right? So as I was growing up, I enjoyed being in teams. Right? Uh, and how many of you have been in a team before? How many of you? Right, thank you. So you have been in teams, you know how teams operate. Actually, the first team that I was in was with my family, my parents, and my two brothers. That's the first team that I was exposed to, right? And ever since, I've always been in team, playing team sports. I play football, I play basketball, and I play table tennis, I play the doubles team. So it's always in teams, and I've always loved doing things in a team. And that's where I began to realize that being in a team is so much fun. We can achieve a lot more, right? However, with time going on being me in a team, I began to realize a big problem. And that is, with teams, there will be leaders. Yes? 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 yes. 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 Thank you, right? So with teams, there will be leaders. The challenge becomes when the leaders, are, they are not as empowering, you know, they are not as, uh, they don't drive the performance of the team and it causes the team to fail. And every time that happens, it hurts me. Because I know our team has so much more potential. And that is the reason why I've decided to put all my years of experience in teams, in leadership, in getting things done, in high performance, and to share with the world because of one reason. Because the world needs more leaders. How many of you agree with that? Yes. yes. Thank you. And this is where I want to share with you before I get going. Right? How many of you notice I ask a lot of questions? Yes. Yes? yes? First of all, I don't ask all these questions to make you look stupid. Or I don't ask all these questions to annoy you. Alright? And I ask all these questions for a very simple reason. 
Okay. Imagine if today I were to tell you that I have I am I'm, I'm on this very exciting topic called leadership, and I have fifty five PowerPoint slides with ten bullet points on it. You know, and how many of you will begin to fall asleep very soon? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, I'm not going to do that. By the way, I'm not going to do that. Right. And if today, by the end of my presentation, if there's one thing that I want all of you, how many? All of us. How many? All of us. Thank you. If I want all of you to get it, it's this thing. What does it say, please? When there is a leader and a follower, who usually wins? The one with the high energy or the one with the low energy? High energy! High or low? High! Thank you. And that is why I ask a lot of questions to inject energy into it. And I hope with that, you will participate by putting in back energy for me. Would that be okay? Yes! Would that be okay? Yes! Alright, so I want you to do something for me right now. Something that you go, you oh, know, it's... A little bit funny, you know. I'm just not. I'm not something used to it, right? But bear with me, all right? I want all of you to do something with me for the next just five seconds. Would that be okay? Yes. yes. Would that be okay? Yes. yes. All right. I want you now to turn to the person next to you, give them a high five, and say, "You are amazing." You are amazing. 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 Thank you. How many of you noticed the energy went up in the room? Yeah. Right? Thank you. And that is what I want all of you for now to remember. The, the number one thing that you need to recognize is what it is? What is it again? Energy. 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 Let's do it all over again. What is it? What does the script say? Leadership requires energy. Twice as loud? Leadership requires energy. Thank you. And this is something which I want all of you to be able to bring home for today. And the next thing that I'm going to talk about today, remember we talk about um, people being in leadership and people being in a position of leadership? Yes? Yes. Yes? How many of you have, are in a position of leadership right now? That means you lead a team, right? Oh, good, right? How many of you are not? All right, cool, thank you, right? See, see the, the thing now we understand is, for most people, what is the difference, right? Let me just, instead of me telling you, why don't we just do a simple exercise, right? So a simple exercise for the next three minutes. How many minutes? Three minutes. I would like you to list down the differences between someone who is a leader, the difference in style of leading, someone who's a leader, and in a position of leadership. You have... Three minutes, you have you can write it on your card on one because I have three activities for you today. Alright? Ready? And go! Repeat the instruction again. Okay. Alright, so hold, hold. There are people that let me in, repeat my instructions, yeah? So I would like you to list down the differences in their leadership style with how they manage the team for someone who is deemed as a leader and someone who is deemed as in the position of leadership. Does it, does it make sense? Yes. Okay, wait, is anyone clear? No? No. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me clarify. Okay, let me ask you this question. 
for those who are in the who are a leader, do they need always a position to lead? No. Do they? No. Let me ask you these questions again, right? Uh, when you are around your friends, sometimes do your friends lead you to somewhere to do certain things that may be a little bit crazy? Yes? yes? Yes. Are they leaders or are they in a position of leadership? Leaders. Yes. Leader. They are leaders, right? Yeah. So I would like you to list down the differences of how a leader leads a group of people and how someone in a position of leadership or come let's come let's come up with a better word, we call management. How do you lead a team and how do you manage a team? That's a, a, quite a difference in that. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it clear now? Yes. yes. Alright, so take take the next Three minutes and write down the differences and we'll talk about that, right? Ready? Go! Okay, begin finishing up. Begin finishing up. And stop. Alright? Now, I would like you to find a partner. Find a partner. Find a partner. Alright? Find a partner. Alright? Okay, you have a partner A and a partner B. Okay, the sign of partner A and a partner B. Alright? So, who is partner A? Partner A? Alright, who is partner B? Me. Alright, so partner B, you will raise your hands and you say, I volunteer to go first. I volunteer to go first. Alright, so you will have four minutes to share and I'll tell you when to switch. Ready? And go. Okay. 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 Okay.
you begin to recognize that you don't really need, from lean sharing, you don't really need to be in a position to begin leading the people around you, right? As long as you're responsible, you provide solutions, you are action taker, you know, you take care of people around you, you begin to be perceived as a leader. Yes? Yes. 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 How many of you can relate to that? Right? How many of you know of people who are leaders like that? Right? Thank you. How many of you know that person and it's very intimate to you? Right? Right. Thank you. So the next thing that we're going to move from is, you see, as we talk about leaders, we don't need a position, right? So the next thing that we're going to talk about is this. What does it say, please? Leaders are role models. Why is that loud? Leaders are role models. Again. Leaders are role models. Thank you. You see, when we talk about leaders are role models, who are the leaders in our daily life? First of all, when, as a parent, are you a role model to your kid? Yes. Yes? yes? So when you are a role model to your kid, you are a leader of the family. Right? When you are a role model to your friends, how many of you have friends? Okay, let me ask this question. How many of you have friends that you look up to and you want to model your friend? How many of that? Alright, cool. How many of you have friends who have actually told you that, hey, you are my role model, I want to follow you? Alright, cool. We have quite a lot of people in this room, right? You see, when you are a role model, people begin to follow you. People begin to want to learn from you and they take your advice seriously. How many of you like that? Right? And this is what I mean by leaders are role models. Alright? So I'd like you all to do one activity right now. Alright, can you use the next card or the same card? It really doesn't matter, right? So I'd like to write down, okay, this is a, a, a very simple instruction. Write down one role model that you have in your life as a leader. Alright? And why is that person your role model? Understand? Right? Okay? Ready? Go! Okay, begin finishing up. Begin finishing up. And stop. Alright, you know the drill. Please find a partner. Please find a partner to share. Alright, find a partner A. You have a partner A? Are you using the same partners? Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, so just now who went first? B. A or B? B. B, right? So A, now B, you tell them, I'll go first again. Alright, so as B, you share with them your role model and why. Alright, and I'll give you, I'll tell you to switch. Alright, ready, go. Okay. 
change in society and in my kind by showing to people uh, that discrimination is 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 a hazard that had to be eliminated and he changed society forever because of that and in on the face of opposition he was willing to die for it. Wow. wow I was very good speaker as well. Oh yeah I have a dream <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. thank you give me a big hand give me a big hand Thank you. So how many of you have learned a lot from Harry Sherry? Yes? Thank you. So now moving forward, you see, as we talk about leaders are role models. See, they have a certain standard that they always uphold themselves to. Yes? 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 yes. 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 Hello? Yes. yes! Thank you. You see, so when they have, why are they role models? Because they have standards. And when they have standards, they actually allow, attract the people who want their standards to follow them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? So now the next thing I'm going to get all of you to do is to write down three things, three rules. Right? Before, before I, let me finish up my instructions. Three rules that you are willing to hold yourself accountable no matter what. And that becomes who you stand for, what you stand for. For example, one of it is always be on time. Yes. That's one, right? Yes? yes. Would that be good? Yes. yes. I think that's important, yeah? So if you hold, if you put that as one of your rule, you hold yourself accountable to that. Alright? So I would like you to take the next two minutes to write down three rules that you would like to hold yourself accountable. Ready? Yeah. Go. Sure. You need a set. Alright.
Okay, begin finishing up. Begin finishing up. And stop. All right. So how many of you are willing to hold yourself accountable to these three rules from today onwards? Me. Thank you. Thank you. You see, how many of you realize? How many of you realize that actually there's a lot more to learn about leadership? Yes. yes. Thank you. How many of you also realize that if you do not improve your leadership skills, your team, your business, and your productivity will drop? Yes. How many realize that? Yeah. Right. You see, everything rise and fall on leadership. Even with a, with a good team, with the wrong leadership, with no, with, without the right leadership skills, if you put them in the system, it will still fail. How many know what I'm talking about? Right? And that is why I've created this program called Leadership Mastery. What is it called, please? Leadership, leadership Mastery. Mastery. Thank you. You see, in this program, you, what you will learn is, you will learn how to be able to create a safe environment. A what kind of environment? Safe. safe. Thank you. You will be able to create a safe environment for your team members in it, so that they can grow, they can thrive, and they can flourish, so that your team productivity goes up. Goes where? Up. up. Thank you. You see, the reason why there's a lot of politics going on in the team is because we don't know if I can trust you. And that's why I'm always guarding against you. But imagine you have a team of people whom you can trust. You know they've always got your back. The safe environment where they can grow, they can thrive, they can flourish. Would the team do well? Yes! Thank you. And that is one of the most important things about being a leader. Second thing, what you will get to experience. How many of you would like to be able to experience leading or being in a high performing team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And that is why in our program you will get to learn or get to experience in your blood, in your body, what it feels like, what it takes for you to lead to what please? Lead. To be on a high performing team. Be on what kind of team? High, high performing, performing team. team. That's right. How many of you would like to learn that? Thank you. And that is why this is the program that I've created to help to create even more leaders. Even more what, please? Leaders. leaders. Thank you. And this program will be done in Singapore in January 2019. When? Singapore. Singapore. When, when, when? January. Thank you. And this is where this program itself is an accumulation of all my experiences, my education, that over the last 10 years, I've put in my investment in my own education for this amount. Over the last 10 years, I've put in a, a total amount of 50,000 to put in, to learn, to grow, to develop, to learn from the world's best people, leaders, teachers, in order to be able to put all these things synthesized so that you're able to get it. And for most leadership programs up there that you'll get to see is at this pricing. You see, this is where most of it you will get to see this is how the most courses on leadership out there will be putting because they understand the importance of leadership. They understand the importance of driving and leading a high-performing team. How many of you like to learn that as well? Thank you. You see, so the reason why I'm doing all this is very simple. Because I begin to recognize that there's a lack of leaders out there in the world right now. And everything is based on leadership. If today you can lead your family well, you can lead your business well, you can begin to make a massive impact in the world. The challenge becomes, there's no leaders out there in this world like that. There's no leadership program out there that has a leadership curriculum. And that is why I want all of you, how many? All of us. How many? Oh. And that is why I want all of you to enroll in this program. And I want all of you to be able to have access 
to this information so that you can go back and make the impact in your own world. How many of you like that? Thank you. But I have a little problem. Due to the size of the room, I can only take in the first five people who goes to the back to register right now. So for the first five people who go to the back to register right now, I'm going to do something very special for you right now. So for the first five people who go to the back and register right now, the price, the tuition will be eight nine nine five. It will be at twelve ninety five. So for the first five people who go to the back to register right now, you'll get the price at twelve ninety five. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Thank you.